Today in our 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 2500, we're going to be installing Torqueless custom frame mounted camper tie downs for the rear. These camper tie downs are going to provide you a secure anchor point to get your camper strapped down to the back of your truck. This is even better than when mounting it to the bed because you distribute the weight to the frame and it helps keep it more stable and less top heavy. These tie downs are custom fit for your Silverado 2500. They're specifically designed to work with Torque Lift Super Hitch, which is also custom fit for your Silverado. The tie down insert has two holes, one towards the front and the rear, and it's also offset to help ensure you get the best clearance for your truck. You can see how much space we've got here between our truck, so we can ensure that our turnbuckle is not going to come into contact with the truck when driving down the road. You can see all the space we have here between our turnbuckle and our truck so we can be sure that we won't have any scratches or abrasions from the turnbuckle when going down the road. When you're done using your camper, you can easily remove your turnbuckles. And to get a more factory look when you're not using it, you can pull the inserts out, simply release the pin, and it'll just slide right out. Now you can barely even notice it's there, so your truck's got a nice factory look. I've already got our spare tire down and out of the way. This will give us more room to see and, and to work. It's not necessary, but it will make the install easier. Now on your super hitch, you probably have an L bracket located right there that connects into the side plate and into our spring perch up here. You're gonna need to remove that L bracket in order to install our camper tie downs. There's just two bolts here and one here. And you're gonna use a 19 millimeter socket and wrench to remove those and an 18 millimeter for the upper one. Next, we're gonna to need to fish some hardware into our spring perch. I've already got one fished in. What you're seeing sticking out there is a 7 16 bolt with a star washer on it, followed by a one by two spacer plate. Now, if you had your L bracket here, there would likely already be one of these bolts with this exact same combination sticking down in this hole here. If not, and you're installing this, you're gonna need one in each hole here. So we're gonna use the included coiled wire. We're going to push it up through that hole and come out the back side of the spring perch. Here on the back we're going to thread on our assembly that we pre-assembled there. And we're going to put our assembly inside the spring perch and use the coiled wire to pull it down through the hole. You'll repeat this same process for the other hole on this side and then both holes on the other side. We'll now get our camper tied on in position. Now our tie down should be placed with the tube that's here on the side of the bracket towards the front of the vehicle and the L brackety half towards the back. So we're going to slide that up, making sure not to push our bolts back up into the perch. We're then going to use a flat washer, lock washer, and nut, and these are going to be the smaller ones that come in the kit. We don't want to fully tighten it, we just want it to hold it up there. We're going to do the same thing on the other bolt sticking down here. We'll now take the larger bolts that come in the kit, we're going to place a flat washer on it, slide it from the inside of the hitch out here in our slotted holes. We're going to do that for each hole. On the other side of our bolt, we're going to place a flat washer, lock washer, and nut. We can now go back and tighten down all of our hardware. We're going to start with the ones going up into the perch with an 18 millimeter socket. And we're going to switch to a 19 millimeter socket and wrench for our side plates. We can now go back and torque all of our hardware to the specifications found in our instructions. We can now take our tie down inserts you see there's two holes here that we can use to insert our pin, depending on the length that we need. We're going to go ahead and slide them in the end of our tube, place our pin all the way through the tube and our insert here, bring over the lock and snap it in place. Now you also want to make sure that your insert you're sliding in is offset towards the rear and that the holes are above the tube. There's stickers that come included with your kit, so once you've got it in the appropriate location, you can label that. So when you take it out, you'll always remember 
quickly which one it goes back into. And that completes our installation of Torquelift's custom frame mounted camper tie downs for the rear on our 2016 Chevrolet Silverado 2500.